download my free legato course right now and learn to play fast in the fastest way possible. Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how I played that uh, run, note for note. But more importantly, we're going to talk about how I'm uh, picking it, because what I used here was what we call economy picking, directional picking. I just call it sweep picking string shifts, because that's what they are, right? You can do alternate picking, which is strict up and down, no matter what you do, the next pick stroke you choose is the opposite of what you just used, right? And then there's sweep picking, string shift, going from string to string, uh, with two consecutive down or up strokes. And that is kind of limiting. If that's the only thing you can do, then you need to have, you need to, everything you play has to be, you know, an odd number of notes on each strings, on each string. So, and the, the three note per string layout is pretty cool. Because then you can go up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, you know. But if you want to play two notes per string and go, and go, you know, sweet picking string shifts or directional picking, you can't because you'll end up, okay, down, up, up, down, up, down. You'll end up playing alternate picking. It's not doable, right? So you have to lay out the, the shapes on the fretboard to fit directional picking. But that limitation is really worth living with if you can also do alternate picking, right? And if you practice economy picking, directional picking, or flow control, as I call it, which is also just sweep picking, then you'll find that your alternate picking skills will really evolve like at least they did for me and anyone I taught this to because you get an alternative now you can use alternate picking with that sweep picking string shift and you can just blend them together like one picking style which is flow control uh, so let me just show you this run here and then over the next uh, six or seven lessons I'll show you how you can develop this idea and really create what I call a power leak the ability to just <laughs> You know, to stay in one place, play your run. And, and then have it move horizontally. And, and vertically, all right? And, and that's what I call a power leg. It just gives you that freedom to just direct your run in whatever, uh, you know, direction you want to and have it last as long as you want to or as short as you want to. So let's look into this run and then over the next uh, days here, let's develop it uh, over the next videos, you could say. Let's develop it. Uh, so we really develop that power lake philosophy. And if you need anything more, you want to go more into really developing that alternate picking slash sweep picking, directional picking, economy picking power, then go and check out our flow control program. You can click the link just below here. Um, so let's look into the run. <laughs> So here we go. Uh, I was just playing a slightly different thing here, but, but that's because it's, this is moldable. Uh, we're going to build on it and make it flexible. So let's just do the um, the run here, and then I'll just give you a quick exercise that you can do to get the the core of the movement down and really practice that in a loop, so you can become be good become good at it before you attempt to go all the way. Uh, it will it will make the whole entire run so much easier, and it will keep you out of overwhelm if you focus on that little area. But let's first. You know, look at the whole run here. We're in the key of A minor. So, so I'm just gonna maybe go for the A harmonic minor. So you might wanna just, you know, get that straight and mark out the notes on the fretboard. I'm gonna start here in the um, 17th fret here. Sorry, 16th. Got the 15th here, just by the dot, and then 16th up here. We'll go down to the 13th fret and the 12th fret on the high E string. And I'm going to go up, down, up on this string. And this is very important, right? So we get the, the picking right. Up, down, up. Just going to continue down the A harmonic minor scale by playing the 15th, the 13th, and the 12th by up, down, up again. So up, down, up, and then up, down, up again. Up, down, up, up, down, up. Then I'm going to move down to the 10th fret here and play that with a down stroke. 10th fret B string, then hit the 13th fret with an upstroke and the 12th fret with a downstroke. And then the 10th fret again with an upstroke. Up 
Now you can do the same thing here. Let's create a couple of variations. So you can go. Uh, then we can go down to the uh, uh, raise seven here again. All right, so we go all the way. We go. So. Again. All right, and then down to six, down, up, down, up, and then down to uh, ninth, down, up, down, up. So nine, 12, 10, and nine. Again. Now we're going to jump down to we'll play the tenth, the ninth, and the seventh. Again with upstrokes all the way. Every time you shift to another string, you do it with an upstroke. So, so we go ten, nine, and seven, and the same thing on the D string. Ten, nine, seven. Then I move down to the sixth fret with a downstroke, and then I play nine, seven, and six. All right, again. Up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? And then we can uh, play the same thing down here, starting on exactly the same shapes, only it's in the eighth, seventh, and fifth on the A string. Up, down, up. And then up, down, up in the eighth, seventh, and fifth. Move down to the fourth fret with a downstroke and play seven, five, four, right? So up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then you can just hit the open E string there. So what we did here was we played the same thing in, in two octaves. We, we did and we did the same thing here. And you can actually do the same thing up here, so the run becomes very systematic. You can go 13, right, 13, 12, 10 on both the, the high E and the B string, and then down to the 9th, 10th, and 12. Right. And then just go. Right? So that's totally regular. Right? And then end on the, um, the low E string there. Right? But if you want to, you know, uh, mess with people's ears so they don't hear the system, you want to do something that's a little bit more irregular, and that's why I start up here. Right. This is just this particular run. It's an example. So let me just, before you start launching into practicing the whole thing, let's create a little loopable exercise that you can do. Let me see. Mm. You know, well, one part of it is really this one, but that's a one string exercise, right? That's a really good idea to so just stay there in the 10th, 12th, and 13th. Play 10, 13, 12, 10, and then move down to the 9th fret and do the same thing with the 9th, 10th, and 12th fret. All right, so you go. That's one exercise that's going to train the shift. Also, uh, gives you the ability to stay in just that area. So if you do your... your right, so you can choose that uh, when you got that down. So let me just uh, see if we can do a... See, we can't, we, can't, we can't do this on two strings and expect it to be sweep picking or directional picking, because if I have to play over and over this first little piece here, then I'm going to end up with alternate picking. So I'm going to... Uh, Oh, that's a really good exercise. Let's pick that one. So I go, you can just skip the, the, the raise seventh if you want to. 
just to have that symmetrical uh, place of practicing this. So if you go 12, 13, and 15, 12, 13, and 15 on both strings here, the B and E, and then 10, 12, and 13 on the in the second position, you go. So you basically just play six notes down from the top note, 15, 13, 12, and 15, 13, 12 on the B as well. Up, down, up, up, down, up, right? Then you go down to the 10th fret on the B string. So you basically go, all right? What you do from there is that you reach for the top note in this six note shape with an alternate picking string shape. So you go up stroke, you, you plant your down stroke on this in the 10th fret on the B string, and then go for the up stroke on this one. When you do that, when you play six notes down from this, then you will, you'll be able to do an up stroke when you go from string to string, a sweet picking string shape. So we go up, down, up, up, right? So up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Outside, alternate picking string shift. Up or down, up, down, up, up. Let me just play it for you in a loop. All right, and then I go back to the first thing again, to the six note shape in the 12th fret on the B string. Do my alternate picking string shift again, down, up, and then I... So you alternate between the sweep picking string shift and the alternate picking. Slowly. Alternate picking string shift and sweep picking string shift. Alternate picking, sweep picking, alternate picking and sweep picking. Right? And so you can actually combine that with the run, but let's look into more of these integration exercises in the next video. So, right? We're already building a power leg here because we can do different things already, right? So let me just play both of these things a little bit uh, mid-tempo so you get them in the context and then uh, let's move on. Right, and then the uh, the and those two exercises will enable you to go or just. Remember to focus on just a little loopable exercise as I showed you in the beginning. And that should be, you know, 90% of your focus, just practicing that over and over and over again to get it in, you know, thousands of repetitions, practice it with the metronome, take it to the TV or to YouTube and just watch, you know, video after video as you do the same, you know, the same loopable pattern over and over again, totally relaxed, accurately, in time, no mistakes, uh, and then gradually, you know, pretty rapidly, actually, if you keep doing that and you have focus on it over time, then I promise you, you will just develop that ease suddenly. And once you get that feeling of, wow, I just did like nine or 12 notes, you know, like that, then you're hooked. Uh, so I hope you will focus on this, at least give yourself a week where, you know, 80% of your practice time is this, right? Just go into it, pick it as an idea and then really go for it. Uh, and then remember to never watch TV, YouTube, talk to friends without practicing this. And you can do it. You can, you know, just with no sound on your instrument, develop that pattern over and over again. And then have fun the rest of the, you know, 10% of your time out of those 80%, right? You go, 
you can just tr try the run out. See if you can just get hooked to that feeling of the sweet picking string shift. And then go check out the Flow Control program here. See you in the next video where we're going to develop this idea. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.